The time Richard Jefferson and Kenyon Martin had a punch on. Now, most of you know Richard Jefferson is one of the best role players on a pretty stacked Cleveland team. I mean, he's part of the team that seems as though they'll advance to the NBA Finals for the third straight year, and he's still super productive. A really super productive bench player, even at his age of 36 years old. Now, once upon a time, RJ was not like that. He was a high flyer. I mean, we see glimpses of it now. We saw a good glimpse of it against uh, the Golden State Warriors on Christmas Day a few months ago. But he used to do it all the time. He'd throw down mean dunks after mean dunk. And he was one of the better small forwards in the league. His time in New Jersey with Vince Carter was insane. Simply because, well, I'm sure you can either remind yourself or just imagine how good these guys were together and how fun they were to watch. Two of the better dunkers in the league playing together and winning games at the same time? That's pretty cool. But we're actually going to talk about another teammate of his, Kenyon Martin. And to be honest with you, if you want to talk about somebody else who can throw it down, Kmart was pretty good at doing that himself, even though he was a big man. His hops were pretty insane. Now, although Jefferson never made it to an all-star team in his career, he still did average at least 19 points in four of his first eight years in the league, and as one of the key pieces on a dynamic New Jersey Nets team, which I still think is a complete snub that he's never made it to at least one all-star team. Kenyon Martin, on the other hand, made one, but what was sick was the actual team that these two played in. It didn't matter who was an all-star, how great these guys were, it was the team that they played in. It was a team which made two straight NBA Finals appearances at the start of his career, thanks to a core that included Jefferson, Jason Kidd and Kenyon Martin amongst other players. Despite how good the team was, there normally is a little bit of beef in every team. It happens. It's just part of the sport. I mean, the most common known ones are obviously Kobe and Shaq. We know that Ray Allen and Rondo had their moments. Barkley and Pippen, just to name a few. It happens. And sometimes it's not even because they actually hate each other. It's just the heat of the moment, which is exactly what happened to Jefferson and Kenyon Martin. Except... It's actually stated that it started during an NBA game, which is pretty crazy. So, Richard Jefferson found himself in a situation that no one wants to find themselves in. Not only brawling with another teammate, but brawling with Kenyon Martin, who, to be fair, is a pretty intimidating guy. And with Richard Jefferson having a voice like this, it's pretty funny to think about. We talked a lot before the game, Coach did, Marvin Jim did, about the fact that this open style offense seems to be suiting you and Antoine Wright. Do you like this? Is this something that you feel really comfortable in? No, I love it because it makes it tougher for the defense. You're moving around. Uh, you, it, it takes a lot of steam out of their offense because they have to chase you around. So the only thing is you got to get in shape. And, you know, right now playing these amount of minutes and moving around the way we are, you do get fatigued. But later in the season, I think it'll help us. <laughs> What's even more funny is that the actual fight started because of another player on the other team, Bonzi Wells. Jefferson said, and I quote, Towards the end of the game, me and Bonzi Wells are kind of getting into it. Kenyon's at the bottom of the free throw line, and the referee tells Kenyon, Tell your rookie to be quiet, because I don't want to give him a technical this late into the game. Kenyon tells me, Hey Richard, be quiet. Bonzi goes, Yeah, listen to Kenyon, shut up. I just lose it. I'm like, Fuck Bonzi, and fuck you too, Kenyon. I go sit down, I'm mad pissed off. I'm sitting down and Kenyon comes over in the locker room pissed off as well. I stand up and he pushes me down on my seat. We have a full-on fist fight. The only thing that saved me is Aaron Williams. And you remember how big he was. Grabbed him from the back and tried to calm him down. My last swing hit Aaron Williams in his lip and bust his lip open. At that point in time, I realized what's going on. I have no problem fighting Kenyon. Aaron, I don't want any piece of. Even with that fist fight right there, we both understood how much we wanted to win. And with that, we were willing to fight anybody, including each other, to get that done. Yeah, it's probably not the best idea, and Martin made sure to let him know about it after the team returned to the locker room that night. But it does prove that they wanted to win. And although they never won a ring with this squad, two finals appearances ain't bad at all. According to Jefferson as well, this incident didn't fracture the team. Instead, brought them closer together. So while teammates punching each other is just another wild story, the fact that Jefferson to this day has no fear about going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Martin, one of the baddest dudes in the game, may be even more outstanding. But as Jefferson says, despite the fight, both he and Martin share a common goal of just wanting to win and at all costs. And sometimes things just reach a boiling point. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. 
If you enjoyed it, it would be so awesome if you guys could subscribe just to show support. And if we could hit 3,000 likes, that would be amazing as well. I also want to say that if you guys have any video suggestions that you want me to make a video on, let me know down below in the comment section. And like I said before, the NBA playoffs is right around the corner, so I'll be making tons of videos then. Anyway, thanks for your support, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace!